Hi. Uh, now we are going to see uh, Mastercam rough uh, surface pocket toolpath. Uh, last class we have started, but uh, we went into the uh, model analysis. So uh, in this class we will continue the uh, remaining. Okay. Uh, we have already analyzed the model. We are clear uh, minimum cutter radius is uh, 6 dia uh, we can use because the um, model has, uh, doesn't have any negative drop and we have done already zero setting and also stock setup also we have done. So what is left out is we need to make the tool path. Uh, now I will go uh, pocket tool path. Uh, so now I am selecting the drive surfaces okay and it uh, will not um, a check surface will not be allowed in this uh, pocket tool path uh, pocket tool path uh, need of a containment boundary without containment boundary uh, it will not uh, work properly so uh, you need to select the containment boundary and the start point also if you want you can select the start point uh, now uh, I will delete uh, existing tool. Now I will go for a new, new tool. Roughing I, I am going to do. So I will select the tool. I uh, will say none. Select a bullion mill. Uh, the diameter I will say uh, 16 or 2 I have taken. Uh, uh, so the radius is uh, 3 mm in the model, so we took uh, R2, then it is so okay, it will, uh, it will, it will machine properly, there will not be any issue, okay. Okay, uh, now you can uh, enter the, uh, enter the uh, cutting speed and uh, feed per tooth as per the, uh, your material and tool and uh, and in the next page, uh, the stock to leave, how much stock you want to leave. So I will keep, uh, uh, after roughing you need to do the finishing. So for that uh, you need to provide a, a 0.5 stock I am keeping. Here the here I am, I am just accepting the default. Uh, this incremental is okay, we no need to change here. If any issues come, we will we'll, we'll resolve in the, um, so now we will resolve later on, okay. So now step down is the depth of cut, you can give 0.5 depth of cut and remember this is very important, okay. So entry, entry, uh, entry option, you always uh, switch on the um, uh, helical entry, uh, here, uh, in the high speed machine you no need to worry on the entry uh, because it automatically enter in helical and exit in the helical. So but uh, in the normal tool path the entry exit has to be taken care. So if you are not uh, selected the entry properly there may be, may be chances the tool will break. Always you switch on the entry on LX. Uh, along with that uh, if you want uh, some entry point you need to be select suppose if you have any already uh, start hole that there if you want to enter then you can select that one uh, otherwise the uh, plunge outside containment boundary you can you, if suppose uh, on the surrounding of the uh, model there is no uh, uh, any other obstruction so you can enter from the outside so another option is align with the uh, uh, start point. So for that uh, you need uh, some uh, some uh, point where you need to enter and exit. So you always, uh, uh, if there is no uh, space surrounding then you need to select only entry helix. If there is a possibility the tool can enter from outside then you can select helical entry and the uh, plunge outside. This is the next page here. Um, I have selected the uh, spiral, sorry, next uh, second option, a constant spiral and 50% uh, I have made it. Now I am not uh, going to do the finishing, so finishing I will remove it. 
now uh, we will we'll go here and uh, optimize cut order will switch on so so by optimizing your uh, tool path it will uh, reduce your uh, unnecessary uh, movements okay so uh, i just switch on the optimize cut order here uh, constant overlap spiral i have taken and okay so it is giving some error message that the finish pass uh, we have disabled okay we'll accept we, we are going to do finish separately so i am accepting this now uh, it started uh, calculating now we can see it has uh, finished the roughing operation so you can you can back plot and see how it is look like even uh, solid uh, uh, verification also you can do okay this is the uh, roughing is uh, going on and this is one of the best tool path uh, for roughing out the unnecessary material uh, uh, excessive material for removing excessive material or any condition you can you can use it uh, you can see that there is a lot of material is left out um because uh, the rough tool may not be able to uh, completely machine okay so this model cannot be uh, used directly for finishing application uh, before going finishing you need to do the uh, rest machining or remachining okay so what are the material left by the uh, rough cutter that material we can remove it in the rest machining so once you make a rest machining then uh, the stock on the material is uniform so that's the reason uh, this uh, model cannot be taken directly to the uh, finishing op operation okay uh, now uh, entry of, uh, we have made uh, uh, two option entry from outside you can see this is the entry entry from uh, from outside so wherever there is no possibility of entry from outside there it will make automatically the helical entry so that uh, if you want to see uh, you need to uh, step step by step and if there is no possibility of entry from outside it automatically makes the helical entry so we will see that whether it is uh, it has made any helical entry or not that we can check it now so wherever uh, the plunge outside is not possible then it will make a helical entry okay it's very difficult to find out here Uh, here i am unable to see that uh, helical entry here uh, so that the concept is wherever that helical entry uh, is means outside entry is not possible that time it automatically makes the helical entry okay you can modify the helical uh, uh, entry also now to understand the uh, helical entry i just removed the uh, uh, enter from outside to show you the how the helical entry is happening so now you can see that this is the helical entry okay if you see in the front view the helical angle you can see very well this is the helical entry so so now if you want you can uh, modify uh, Uh, this uh, 
helical entry uh, is a very important uh, entry uh, inside the material if you are not selecting the helical entry then a tool will directly plunge on the uh, material so it will make that tool breakage now i reduced the uh, diameter minimum diameter and the uh, angle so if uh, if any all at uh, so all atoms of entries fails means it will ask him to plunge if there is no option or situation available for uh, even you can skip also if you are unable to unable to uh, plunge then you can skip that uh, path that is also you can do you can give a ramp entry also okay so you can modify ramping angle and uh, ramping also you can so ramp in the sense the angular entry okay so we have little modified the helical entry you can regenerate again so just we need to i'll show you the how the helical entry is look like now you can see that this is small entry arc has generated this okay so this is the helical entry okay so that's the reason this option is very important yes that's the reason i am just exploring this option little uh, deeper okay uh we have already seen that cutting pattern and other things so constant uh, spiral uh, is a suitable method that we have already seen okay okay now uh, now we have seen the uh, rough pocket tool part thank you Uh, in the next uh, tool path we will see how to do the remeshing okay thank you